present before you now is something really amazing. It is a sort of mind control. You can control a spectator's mind to call stop at a particular card, at a particular position in a deck of cards. Every week I'm uploading several magical tutorials. If you like my videos, please strike the like button, share this video with your friends and write in the comments how you are enjoying my videos. Oh, haven't you subscribed to my channel yet? I request you please subscribe to my channel and support my channel. So let us see the presentation first and then I'm going to explain how this is done. This is Bicholi, one of my team members. Hi Bicholi. Today I am going to perform a very special card effect for you. And I am going to control your mind to stop at a particular card in this deck of cards. I am going to deal the cards one at a time and whenever you feel an instinct you call stop. Let us hope for the best. And here is full deck of cards and now I can give it a shuffle so that all the cards are mixed well mixed and here is a prediction now you hold the prediction like this with your right hand now keep it here like this now as I am dealing the cards at a certain point of time you will feel the arch to call stop Whenever you feel the urge of calling stop, you call stop and immediately I'll stop dealing. I'm not going to force you to do anything, but it is going to be your decision, completely your decision. So let us start the deal. So I'm dealing the cards one by one. Sure, or should I deal some more cards? Or that is the place where I'll stop. Stop. Alright, now place your place your envelope on the cards. Place it. Oh, I'm sorry, not here. I actually meant there. But here, right? And that is the place where you stop that and that is marked with the envelope and the envelope contains a prediction so let us see where you have stopped so this is where you call stop and this is the card you stop at it is five of spades right five of spades open the envelope let's see what is inside there is a blue backed card a blue card is there and is a perfect match five of spades and there is nothing else now we should I know what you are thinking you are thinking that you could have stopped somewhere else and then there would not have been a perfect match right you are thinking that but no these are no cards. These are not cards. Though they, are, they look like cards, playing cards, but they are not playing cards. Why? Do you know? Because these are all blank. All are blank. There is nothing printed on them. They are not playing cards. These are all blank cards. Not playing cards. Every time I try this out, spectators stop at that particular very strange isn't it I hope you enjoyed the performance this is a very beautiful magic and this is a variation of a very common trick that is performed by beginners now this is also a beginner friendly magic but the secret is a little bit different and a little bit advanced now for this you need a deck of cards which is blank I'm using a blank deck of cards, but if you don't have a blank deck of cards, don't worry. You can perform this with any ordinary deck as well. So 
don't worry use an ordinary deck and still this is a fantastic magic with a fabulous climax but in this case I'm using white cards blank cards and you need one of the cards that you are going to force them so in this case I'm using a five of spades it is also having the same color of the backs and the same design of the backs place this card at the bottom of this blank deck other than this you need an envelope the envelope should be much bigger than the size of a playing card you see this is the playing card poker size and this is much bigger there is a reason for this you are going to understand in a moment and this is the same card that I'm using the first card five of spades in this case but here the back design is different it is a blue card so that it doesn't get mixed up with the other cards now you place this prediction card the blue card in the envelope the envelope is otherwise empty and make sure it is not visible from outside and you are ready for the performance now you can give some false shuffles it is a genuine shuffle but the bottom card that is the first card remains at the bottom so you shuffle the top cards as much as you can and then you ask an assisting spectator to call stop as you are dealing the cards one at a time so you start dealing the cards and these are all blank cards unknown to the spectators and let us assume that a spectator calls stop here now here is a little bit of audience management required so what you do you place these cards you hold these cards on top of the fingers like this not here not in your deep palm but on top of the fingers like this and actually this was held by the spectator there and you just ask the spectator to place the envelope on top of the cards and you should be looking at these cards as you give this instruction now you place the envelope on top of the cards now you just move this hand a little bit towards the spectator and the spectators will think that you actually meant the envelope to be placed on top of the cards on your hand so naturally they are going to place it over there then you say oh I'm so sorry I'm so sorry I actually didn't mean that I meant that this envelope should be placed here because that is where you stopped now a secret move is made this is what you are doing with your fingers you are holding the bottom card and with your thumb you are holding the envelope and you give a swift motion movement towards your right as a result of this all the cards in between the bottom card and the envelope will shoot out to your right hand and this card will remain under the envelope this is very easy we use this move in uh, other magical effects as well so here you see it is on the fingers the specter places it over here you just get, make a throwing motion all the cards come here unknown to the spectators you're holding the first card now you have to be careful not to give a glance of this and you immediately place it on top and said that is where you stopped me so I am going to mark the spot with your with the envelope so saying you place these cards on top and then you talk about the free choice wherever the spectator got an instinct to call stop she stopped you so that is where they stopped at you remove it and you show that this is five of spades until now the spectators think that these are all playing cards and now you open the envelope and slowly show that this is a blue back card and it is a perfect match the trick is over but not yet you could have stopped me anywhere else but why you didn't stop me do you know because these are not playing cards though they look like playing cards and that is the reason why your instinct didn't stop you here so saying 
you spread these cards and these are all blank cards and these are also all blank cards a fantastic climax i hope you enjoyed today's performance and tutorial please write in the comments how you are enjoying my videos see you again next time in the next video till then bye bye